And so I was like, well, some clothes are better on fire. So really, I'm doing you a favor. You burned your friend's clothes? No, I helped her burn them. Okay, good. She gave you consent. What's this I hear about your after-school program, Sophie? Oh yeah, it's just a dumb thing. Obs, tell us about it. Mainly the prize part. Are you interested, Dad? Ask your mother. They're just gonna get us to do presentations, and then the best presentation gets, like, a medal from the mayor. It's pointless. A medal from the mayor? Did you hear that, Chris? Your daughter's getting a medal from the mayor! For burning clothes? Well done, sweetie. Light her up. No, Mom. The winner gets a medal. Yes, of course. And the winner is you. So you're getting the medal. I think Kareem might win. He's really smart. Nora's son? <laughs> he's a nice boy, but he's not you. No. You'll win. There's no other choice. It's a medal from the mayor, Sophie. Why do I get all the academic pressure in this family? Are bees just like fat wasps? Yes, a lot of pressure. If it gets you to win. Of course I'm pressuring you. A medal from the mayor. That would go perfectly with my jacket. I think the medal's for the student, Mom. Well, can't we all share in your success? But I'm not going to win. Sophie's like a genius. So Heather's child is smarter than my child? So I'm stupid? I have bad genes? Is that what you're saying? That's what you're saying, isn't it? I just think maybe you should relax a little. I'm relaxed? I'm the most relaxed person there is. Certainly more relaxed than Heather, who seems very competitive about the whole thing. Move aside. I'm going to research this on the computer. Which bit's the internet? Actually, you do it. Search how to destroy your competitors. Is there a website for that? Try the dark web. Is that a thing? I love this show. So funny. This is the news. I know. So satirical. I'm going to Kareem's. Smart. Face the enemy directly. Show you're not afraid of him. We're probably going to watch a movie. Catch him off guard. He's watching the movie. He's distracted. Bang! You steal his presentation and escape out the window. Probably just the movie bit. Sophie, you can't sit around watching chick flicks with your rivals. You need to work on your presentation for tomorrow. I've been working on it for like a week. It's basically ready. What if he tricks you into revealing your secrets? Hmm? What, by asking me? Exactly. That is exactly the kind of low-down maneuver Nora would authorize. Anyway, I am going to be working on it. They got a new computer, and Kareem said he'd help me put the finishing touches on my slides. They got a new computer? Yeah, his mom thought he needed a better computer so he could get better websites. I don't think she knows how the internet works. She sure doesn't! <laughs> better websites. Wait, he can't get better websites, right? Stay right there. I'll check it out. Honey, can we get takeout tonight? You're not my wife. If I were a supercomputer, where would I be? There. Silver. Shiny. Computer-ish. Damn it, I need details. If only there was a way to see inside that didn't make me sound insane. Heather? This is legal. Oh, it's you. What are you doing? Perfectly normal neighbor things. What are you doing? That's the real question. What's your alibi, mister? Faisal said he'd let me try his new hot sauce. He says this one's so spicy, it's genuinely dangerous. All right, knock yourself out. Wait, I'll get it for you. You go put your feet up. Yeah, just go get some hot sauce. Nice and legit. Remember, you need to grab them with your opening number. Heather! Hi. Hi, Nora. It's so nice to see you. Where's Kareem? Playing. He's working on his presentation. Oh, that school thing tomorrow? I don't think anyone should be taking that too seriously. Let the kid play, for goodness sake. Sophie said you read the I Have a Dream speech so she'd understand what an inspiring speech sounds like. That? Oh, <laughs> that's just... Uh... Anyway, I'm just here to pick up your husband's delicious hot sauce. You know Chris and his condiments. By the way, I hear you got a new computer. What can it do? What's the make and model number? Did I mention about the hot sauce? Mm-hmm. I'll get the hot sauce for you. I can't remember if we got a new computer, but I'll be sure to check for you later. Thanks so much. Can't remember. Ha! <laughs> you sneaky, sneaky woman. I hear you got a new computer. More like, I hear you got a medal because your son is best. <gasps> 
Sophie's light is on. She must still be working on her presentation. That woman tells me to let Kareem play while her own daughter is slaving away. What kind of mother does that? Mom, can I go to bed now? Once we fleshed out the conclusion. My vision's kind of blurry. What are you doing? Ow! Basil, these binoculars are expensive. Who are you talking to? To myself. Like a movie villain? No, like a normal person who does normal things. Now go to bed. I need to watch this little girl with binoculars. What is even happening? He's no competition for you. Remember, don't let him distract you with his fancy websites. Oh my god, Mom, he doesn't have better websites. That isn't a thing. Remember to just do your best, which is perfect in every way. I'm going to pick out what I'm wearing for the mayor. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Kareem. I didn't realize you were behind me. I wasn't supposed to walk with you. Sorry. That's okay. My mom probably would have tackled you. Mine said I have to try and psych you out. Mine too. Okay, well, you suck, I guess. Yeah, you too. But like, not in a mean way. Thanks. Oh no, where is it? What's wrong? I think I lost my USB stick. It's got all my slides on it. That's my whole presentation. My mom's gonna be so... Oh. You dropped it on the way over. I think your mom was kind of stressing you out. Thanks, Kareem. Parents are so immature. Yep. I mean, it's not like this is the biggest day of my life or anything. It's just some stupid presentation. Where is she? How can you be so calm? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, sweetie. How's your thing? Did you win? Did Kareem? It's fine if you didn't, but you did, right? Actually, I lost my USB stick on the way to school, and that had all my slides on it. I got distracted by all your phone calls and dropped it somewhere. I think it was when you were making me do vocal warm-up exercises. You lost it? You lost it? I think I'm gonna lose it. Thank God one of my classmates saw me drop it and gave it back to me. They did? Well, that sounds like a very well-brought-up young person. I feel like thanking both them and their parents for raising them so well. It was Kareem. Yeah, I kind of walked into that one. Next time, maybe you and Kareem's mom can fight your own battles and leave us kids out of it? We're a little mature for that. We did get kind of intense there for a while. You want to encourage your kids to be the best they can, but it should be about them and their growth, not about proving they're better than anyone else. Absolutely. Of course, we'll see if we still feel that way during the science fair next month. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, science fair? 